Hi James, Phil Beaver here from the Wilderness Club. Great to see you tonight, just want to recap on our lesson. So we can see here, uh, first things first, for me, you, you always set up a little bit too open, uh, feet and shoulders. We're in indoors studio, and really you're hitting it straight down sort of this target line. But for me, you was aiming a little bit too left with the feet and shoulders. So that was the first thing we uh, we tweaked. Yes, you stand a little bit close to it, but we'll address that at another point in your swing. Uh, first things first, we just need to work on a few bits. So your first bit here, we can see the club head goes inside the hands way too quickly. I mean, at this point here, we can see the club head. If we look here on the right at Robert Rocks, you're going to see the club head stays a lot more outside his hands as he goes back and then it cuts through the hands. So a little bit of a different position there. The drill I gave you, really, I didn't really ask you to fix this, but if you stand against a wall for me, James, that you'll miss the uh, the wall. You can see now you've taken her out the wall, where if we look at Rob's and draw a line on the, on the wall for him, you can see he's going to miss the wall at least till he gets halfway back in the swing. Okay? That's the first thing. Second thing, James, the top of the swing, I quite like. It's in good position. The elbows are good. Club face is pretty good. We can leave that. It's a tiny bit open, but we'll leave that at the moment. But the, the big thing for you is as you unwind down, as you start to shallow, the shaft now, for me, is on the money. Left arm's really good. If we look here at Rob again, as he um, gets to the top of his swing, you can see at the top of his swing, so just a little bit tighter than yours as well. I'll just go back, James. I'd, if those elbows would just squeeze together a tad more, we'd just be, look a little bit tighter. But it's okay. As you come down, like I said, back into this frame here, which is great, and look at Rob as he shallows down into the same thing. Keep an eye on his club head. It's not going to go underneath his forearm, okay? You can see that club head stays on the forearm as it pulls in front with you. We draw a line now in your forearm there. We can see the club head's already gone under one, gone again two, three. It takes you four frames to get it back in front. So that's uh, obviously a little bit stuck on the inside. And then from there, we're going to hit sort of blocks and hooks as we sort of flip the club. And because you're so on the inside, it, the club face now is pointing down at the ground body hasn't cleared quick enough because you're hitting it all with your arms rather than your body and that's why your hand come off this club here because you were trying to save it with the hands James so I gave you a little drill if you once again if you swing it to the top there and we put you along a wall do the same with Rob you know I can't draw a line straight there okay and we go to the top of his swing as Rob unwinds down you'll see that if the wall was a little bit straighter sort of there he would miss the wall on the way down you can see that can't you his club head doesn't it gets nearly on the wall with you if we look at yours as you shallow bang 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 yes you've hit it way too much you're just stuck so that was a nice drill for you another drill was split hand take the right hand off move it down the shaft and just pull that left arm down on the takeaway or on the downswing james and that'll get the club head we want to get that club head sort of out here in front it really will feel like you're swinging left and across it from the top, almost like a, you know, a, a chop down on it as opposed to from the inside shallow. So with you, I really want to see you swinging left and across it. And by the end of the lesson, we got you swinging the path left. Yes, you had to do a drill. So we swung it sort of halfway to the top of the swing, halfway down, got the shaft in front of the hands, pump, pump, and then hit, and that gave you the feeling. And the body and the chest got much more explosive. So work on that form if we look at rob's there cutting through the forearm all he has to do then is turn on to it lovely follow through uh, and then from there he goes into a nice full balance finish where we can see with you you get a little bit stuck so work on that for me james look forward to hearing the progress it's gonna take a bit of work but it'll make a huge difference and uh, turn you into a, a super player